Yeah, I'm telling you because it's chaotic in the Stone Creek kitchen this morning. Holy moly. Chef Slay, I'm telling you, we have a lot going on here. The Golden Grannies joining us this morning out there teaching Susan some numbers and helping us in the kitchen. They have, they've taken over the kitchen kind of, sort of. <laughs> but, you know, I have a feeling they've got a lot more experience than I do. <laughs> Trouble. She's a feisty one. And she's got a knife. And Whose she's got idea a knife. was that? <laughs> what we're going to do today, we're going to make a very basic meringue cookie, and we're going to macerate some strawberries. Okay. And put the strawberries on the meringue. Okay. And drizzle it with a little chocolate balsamic vinegar. Ooh. People think that vinegars, when you mention balsamics, they're like, ooh, no, 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 no. And it's like, oh, you've got to taste these things. If you get a high quality of balsamic, you can put it on ice cream, you can put it on fruit, you can, I mean, there's just so many purposes for balsamic. Okay. So what we're going to do, um, we had our assistant go ahead and chop up some strawberries nice for us. Nice job, assistant. She did a very good job. <laughs> and we want to macerate. And macerating means you're just going to extract some of the juices out of it. And there's a couple different ways of doing that. Okay. You can either soak them in a little bit of alcohol or you can just dust them with a little bit of sugar. And you just let them sit. Because what happens is that the natural juices are extracted out of the fruit and you get these beautiful enhanced flavors. So not only do you get the strawberry, you get this pow of a strawberry flavor when you macerate. Okay. And then we're going to take three egg whites and a three quarters cup of sugar and a little bit of uh, cream of tartar, like a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. And we're gonna, we're gonna whip them up to something called Stiff Peak. And this is Stiff what Peak, you want. that's exactly what you want. Okay. You want them nice and glossy and you want it oh, really I'm stiff. I'm so tempted, but I won't. <laughs> and the other way to test for doneness is not only do you want them Stiff Peak, but you also want them smooth. So you wanna kinda put your finger in the batter and you wanna feel the batter to make sure that it's not gritty. All right. Because if it's still that. gritty, you need to let it go a little bit longer. And all this is is mm. egg whites and sugar and a little bit of vanilla. That's all that's in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it's a smooth, if it's smooth, then they're ready to go. And to make our little meringues, all you have to do. Oh, that's good. All you have to do is I like to use a big ice cream scoop for this. Show him. Or you can use a piping bag. Okay. okay. I just take the scoop and put them on a cookie sheet. Just like that. Wait, how do you keep that from sticking to the scoop? Well, sticking to the sheet. Thank you. No, to the scoop. Oh, it just because there's a little. Oh, there's a lever on. There's it. a lever on. I don't it. have one of those. If there's a little <laughs> lever. You can pick these up at any restaurant, any restaurant supply store. I'm so embarrassed. And you're just gonna put them on your cookie sheet. I don't either. I'm getting one now. Then what you're gonna do is bake them in a low temperature oven. You're gonna want 200 degrees for about an hour and a half. Okay. I know it sounds crazy, but an hour and a half at 200 degrees. Then you're going to open the door, shut your oven off, and let them cool in the oven. Oh. And what you end up with are these beautiful meringue cookies. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're crunchy on the outside, but however, when you break them open, <gasps> they're beautiful and soft oh on the inside. Yeah. Of course yeah. you do. Thank yeah. you. Would you like some? I, will you share? Thank yes. you. Ooh, then to make our dessert, mm -hmm. oh, we'll get the, the girls over here. Forgot about the girls over here. There's <laughs> That's all right. They're dipping into the pot. They're, they're, getting, they're licking the bowl. Mm -hmm. Then to serve, what I like to do is take a cookie, put it on a plate, and just press in a little bit on the center. Okay. Okay. Then take your strawberries and put your strawberries right on top of it. You're creating a cave. Just about. Mm. Who would have thought to put uh, balsamic vinegar on strawberries? Then oh, you're going to drizzle delicious. a little bit of balsamic. And this is chocolate infused balsamic vinegar. Oh, well, now okay. that makes sense. Okay. So just a little okay. drizzle. Where do you okay. get that? Yeah. You can pick this up at any gourmet olive it. store, or I actually got this at Olive Ostros. Olive Ostros is a gourmet olive oil store and balsamic okay. store on uh, McDowell and Seventh Avenue, right next to NYPD oh, Pizza. Chocolate infused balsamic. Oh, Crazy. I I spent about two hours in their store just tasting different oils and things. Okay. Mm. Nice. Now, if you want to make this an adult dessert, you can take a little bit of Cointreau. I don't think. Uh, are y'all over 21? I don't think they're over 21. All right. Just little bit of Cointreau. Want to see some IDs later. And Drizzle, you want just about maybe a half a tablespoon, a couple teaspoons in there. And then go ahead and toss that around. And if you want to make drunken strawberries, let them cover them with saran wrap, let them sit in the refrigerator overnight to make them drunken strawberries. So that way the fruit absorbs all of the nice um, alcohols. Okay. Wow, that's a lot easier than I thought. And then you'll just want to finish it off with a little bit of mint, like a little sprig of mint or something. And you've got this beautiful, simple, clean, easy dessert. <laughs> There's a little sprig of mint. <laughs> 
a little sprig of mint. I don't know where it was, but <laughs> a little <laughs> sprig of mint. I just pulled that out of my pocket. Look and at how cute you that is. got to taste the strawberries with the balsamic because mm. it's that chocolate strawberry, right. beautiful Give flavor. Every, hand out. No, no, no. My guess. Give everybody a fork over there. Oh, I'll grab another one. You okay? Just lost my cord. Just lost her cord. <laughs> That's all right. There. Okay. Couple forks here. Now, is this the one for the diet? Is this the diet is one? This the one? Totally, totally. Yeah. You ever got a fork? All no right. fat. Well, That's actually, right. you know, the meringues no, are fat free. That's They're all right. Whites. You guys are going to work no, it off later. For you. You're not done morning. yet. Morning. You're not done yet. Thank you very oh, much, God, Chef. We are going to Yum. keep you here in the kitchen, and then we're going to get these ladies busting a move just a little <laughs> bit later, Susan.